It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to win. And we have nothing to lose but our chains. We're seeing people do the American thing right now by protesting and making sure that the power resides with the people. The power resides introduce you really quick okay, okay so um, I'm about to talk to Julian Mack he is actually one of the coordinators of the one downtown Correct. today um, but, but we he, have solidarity yeah but right. he came to stop by and show support at this one here at Secor and Central um, so we're gonna talk to him really quick about why we're here right now so um, what brought you here to this one and uh, you know why is it important for you to see things like this it's important that we show solidarity. It's important that we uh, revolt against a tyrannical government uh, that continues to murder, oppress us, and kill us. Uh, we have the power in this democracy, and I don't just mean electoral-wise, we have the power. And, and, and so when we see murder, when we see wrongdoing done anywhere in America, it is our duty to fight for our freedom because none of us are free until all of us are free. And we have to uproot the racism and the, uh, the, the classism and all of the isms, really, that exist within our institutional structures. This must change. That is our mandate. That must change locally, nationally, and globally. And um, what does it mean for you to see that people were so passionate about this? There were multiple protests organized for the same day. I mean, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Listen, we have solidarity with all people who are revolting against uh, tyranny of an oppressive government. That's what we're dealing with here. We're dealing with a fascist, oppressive government. With, a, a, with, with one who has dictator aspirations right now in the office as commander-in-chief. And we must unite as a collective people when we see oppression and tyranny um, anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. So it's beautiful to see um, people of all races, of all socioeconomic backgrounds, um, of, 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 of all, uh, all spectrums of genders, you know, it, it's beautiful to see that out there because that's what America is, you see. You see, America right now, uh, the police force doesn't represent America and its diversity, right? Uh, we have uh, Congress, they don't represent our diversity. But what you see out here today, that represents our diversity. That shows what we really look like. And what you see right now is the passion and the heart and the compassion that we have 
stand up against oppression. And some people are asking, they're like, well, the the guy who was on George Floyd got arrested. Oh, but this yeah, is bigger than George Floyd. That's baby. my question. This is bigger than George Floyd. This is about an oppressive system that has always functioned in America in a racist way, especially towards people, uh, people of color, specifically black people, um, and 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 divided. Right. See, what they want to do is divide the poor whites and the black community. What they want to do is for us to remain classes. What they want us to do is be gay versus straight. What they want us to do is sit back and allow tyranny and oppression to continue, right? This is a systemic problem. It's not about one isolated incident. This is about what we've continued to see through centuries, centuries of oppression. Right? The, 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 the police derived from slave catchers. And they've always had that racial element in their culture, in their DNA. We have to uproot that. We have to stop that. You know, and, and, and so I'm glad to see the unity today. I'm glad to see the passion today. Uh, and what I what I need to see is those in power um, make actual changes, you know, because you, you will continue to see this until functioning differently. We have to see them. It has to not just be made, it must manifest and become a reality, right? Black Lives Matter is it, not just a, a, a theory, right? It's not just a saying. It's not just a hashtag. We're speaking that into existence until it becomes a reality, until it becomes, you know, all lives can't matter unless black lives matter. Right, and we're out here standing for all black lives. Queer black lives, trans black lives, presently, formerly, uh, incarcerated black lives. White black women's lives, black children's lives. No peace! No peace! All right. No peace! Thank you. All power to the people. No peace! No peace! No peace! No peace! No peace! No peace! No peace!
but that's okay. What's up? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The problem is there's like not a lot of space here at all. And if we go across the street, you can't see anything. Uh, yeah, yes. Okay, yep, we can do that. Yeah. It might look like I'm, like, walking through people at some points, but that's, like, that's, like, yeah, but it, that's, like, the biggest space that there was to walk. I've been looking for the biggest area to walk through, and that was just where it is. So, I'm definitely trying to be aware. All right, thank you. Bye.
choice words and we can't control what's happening live so just please be aware of that as you're watching um, but this is at Seacourt and Central and uh, what we've seen so far has just been peaceful it's people on both sides of the street um, protesting holding signs and then obviously you can hear some of the cars are getting in on the action too uh, honking in support or in some cases uh, voicing their uh, disagreement with the protesters. So I'm going to turn this back around to the protesters. We're going to have this live for a few more minutes uh, and then I'm going to have to go do some interviews. So we'll come back later though.
live and then we can interview people. Cool. until three. We will have crews there. Uh, for the people who are wondering why we aren't covering it, it's not happening right now. So um, at three, we will have crews down there as people start to gather there. I'm going to uh, go for now. We're going to do some interviews, get our story for the day, and then I will try and get on here and do another Facebook Live later today. All right. Bye, everyone. <laughs>